Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Mm, yes. Mm, don't do it again. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us today then, Mike? Well, today I've got a story about love over a long distance. Oh, a long distance? A long distance. A long, long distance. A long, long, long oh. distance. Wow. But love. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.TV for our website. And also on YouTube or a podcast provider, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And of names of people who have reached out and licked us to see if we do really taste of chocolate, go along the bottom of the screen. It's this week's Showbiz with Lee. Well, this week we've got some news about a cameo oh. that, that a British act is making in a very popular American television programme. I'm not going to say it. Oh. I was about to say something. It's really offensive. That's what you said. Very yourself. offensive. Yeah. That's why I stopped myself. Did you watch, and just like that, the, the Sex and the City continuation? <laughs> and just like that, it got a bit shit. But he died. He did, and then just like just, that, it got a bit shit. No, he didn't. It got very awkward, like Carrie having a hip replacement and <laughs> and and Miranda being finger blasted in the kitchen. <laughs> no, we went with that. See, I'm okay with that. That that was okay. While she was crying for help. Yeah, I need to pee. Sorry, I'm having an orgasm. That's yeah. I'm sorry. If, if a true friend would get it. Like, what were you doing in the kitchen? I was having a raging orgasm. No, all right. I've just had a major surgery. And I, and I need help. I didn't want you to... I didn't want... Sometimes, no, a good friend would understand that having an orgasm is important. Oh, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to agree to disagree on that. Anyway, Sam Smith is going to be appearing in the next series of... And just like that. So they're making another series of it. Um, so we've got a picture We've got a picture of Sam there, mm -hmm. um, draped in a yellow chemise. Chemise. Um, and then we've got the, th the three ladies um, from Sex and the City. So, None of whom have had work done. Again, Sorry, varying was, degrees <laughs> of, varying degrees of, of, of severity, Yeah, I, I would say. Um, so earlier in February, mm. Sam shared some photographs of them on the set of um, And Just Like That. Mm -hmm. um, so they posted up to something unholy on set. Oh. Mm. So in the first season, they introduced first uh, season. First season. I went all oh, I went very <laughs> fun there. Oh, sure, sure, gunnery. That's fine. Thanks, picking up. Um, yeah, sure in box. the first season, uh -huh. they introduced a new character. And, oh, you see, you've, you've made you've made it. Anyway, that's Sam yeah. um, from their trailer. Um, I don't actually think there were there. No, no. I think that's, I think that's quite clearly a Photoshop <laughs> moment there. Um, um, so in the first series, it introduced a new character called Shay Jazz, who was a Mexican non-binary comedian, uh -huh. played by Sarah Ramirez, who was the one that finger-blasted Miranda in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kitchenette. Um, Kitchenette. Kitchenette <laughs> of... of um, um, Carrie's. Carrie's house, flat, apartment. that she'd gone back to live in. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... It's not clear what Sam is going to be doing, uh -huh. whether it's going to be a longer, a, a big... A big part. A big part or a, or a cameo. Or, or a smaller part. Or a, it's either a Jerry Halliwell, this is great, you should go there moment, mm -hmm. or they might just be singing. That's Sam there, sat outside their Winnebago. Uh-huh. Just chilling, waiting for their call. Solar. Yeah. Something. Solar... Hagrid? I don't know. Yeah, sort of Hagrid, yeah. Of all the things that we're focusing on... Um, I, I like, like the jumper. I like their jumper, yeah. I like I like the big pink pocket. Um, so, yeah, we'll... <laughs> I don't know why I just thought this, so you could put your fags in it. Quite possibly. Or your lube. Anything, really. Anything that you need. Um, not sure when it's coming out, mm. but it will be coming out... I would imagine springtime. I just like saying that. Every time nice. you say springtime, because of the way that you say springtime... My head automatically goes for Hitler and Germany at the end. Okay. It goes very much the producers. Very niche. It's very niche. niche. So we will look forward to that. We will. To see what happens. Another show that is making a, a return to uh -huh. our screens, Queen of the Universe. It is yeah. returning for season two. No. You, you didn't, did you watch it? 
Did you watch the first one? But it's another drag queen show, isn't it? It is, but it's slightly... It's got more of more of a selling point. So we've got a second season coming back, and we've got Graham Norton. He's going to be, like, the main host. And then we've got Michelle Visage. Who? Who? <laughs> who? What did you just say? <laughs> who else is that? Graham Norton who? That's why I wasn't here. I was having my teeth done. <laughs> they not worked. Oh, Michelle Visage. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Michelle Visage. <laughs> Vanessa Williams. Love Vanessa Williams. Trixie Mattel, who is is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Now, um, her that sang in X Factor, what's she called? Um, Leona Lewis isn't returning because okay. she's had a baby. Oh. Uh, Mel B's returning. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. Well, she's not coming back. She's taking over. Mel B's coming. Mel B's coming. Um, there's going to be ten queens from nine different countries, including... In, oh, my word including uh -huh. the United States, Mexico, Brazil, the Netherlands, the Philippines, Israel, the UK, Italy, and Australia. So they're going to... They, so it, basically, it's kind of a singing talent competition. This person this? here, this is Viola. Oh, okay. She is the UK entry, and she's from Coventry in England. Only 19. Um, so basically, what happens is the queens come on, they sing live, they get a critique, and... The one that gets the most votes goes so, on to the next round. So, so Michelle Visage mm. is critiquing people singing, but she is a singer. She was in a girl band. She was in a girl band. Yeah, called. I want to say Expose, or another name. Lee Robertson, our showbiz correspondent. I think it was Expose. Everybody. No, was it? Was it Expose? I don't know. You don't know either, so I wasn't why are you born? Bringing me up? I don't remember it. They didn't have a hit in the UK. And that was my point. <laughs> um, but it is quite entertaining. Okay. It's quite pleasant. It, you know, it, uh, it's a bit of a change from the, you know, make a frock out of this old loofah and walk down the thing. RuPaul got a finger in it. Yeah, it is it's World of Wonder. So, yeah. 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 But, you know, it's entertaining. Okay. Trixie's funny. Trixie is funny. Yeah. Now, this is the most important showbiz news. Okay. Ed Sheeran. She is dead. No. She's, even if she does die, <laughs> she never dies. She's eternal. Ed Sheeran mm -hmm. is launching a vegan-friendly hot sauce line. Wow. Yeah. The Grammy award-winning artist known as Ed Sheeran... Is, is is launching his own range of vegan-friendly hot sauces because he likes them. There's a picture of him there with his hot sauce. The shaved orangutan that is. Oh, that was a bit... Look at him there. That's a bit maniacal, isn't it? It's like... Oh. He always looks a little bit crazy. But what is he put, putting his sauce on? Is it a battered sausage? Looks like a bit of chicken to me. Is it a battered battered vegan sausage? Hey, what's it called? It's called... Well, hang on. I'm just, I was trying to fill because my, my thing had flipped up. And is I'm, it called Tingly Ted's by No, it's called, yeah, it's called... It's written on the bottle, it's called Tingly Ted's. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's that, yeah. Um, yeah, Tingly Ted's sauce range. So what's it called, Lee? It's called Tingly Ted's hot sauce range. Oh! Yeah. It's been in the works for almost two years. Two years for hot two sauce. Two years, and it arrives in two delicious flavours. Hot sauce and hot Allegedly. sauce. Allegedly. There's medium spiced Tingly sauce, and then there's a much spicier extra Tingly sauce. <laughs> Which is an <laughs> ideal condiment for those looking to take the heat up to the next level. Don't Are you? Do you want to? Do you want to take the heat up to the next level? I like spicy food. But you like spicy, as, mm. but as long as it's not just hot for hot. So, like a vindaloo for me is. It's not the fact it's so hot. It's the fact it's so hot without flavour. Okay. It's just there to burn your mouth. And you go, oh, I'm a vindaloo. I'm spicy. It's like. Eh. Well, apparently you can expect a vegan-friendly smoky flavour. A vegan-friendly... Do they... Do, do they, do they have they put vegans in it? Vegan-friendly <laughs> no, smoky flavour. it's flavor. friendly to vegan. <laughs> it's like, a, come with, here, little vegan, let me chop you up. <laughs> with fresh lemon notes that are complemented by a mix of herbs and spices. So it has ambitious plans to be available worldwide, and the sources okay. are currently available for pre-order. Oh. Seven quid a bottle. How big a bottle? I'd just not say that. Well, you can kind of see. It, I mean, he's he's either very very small in real <laughs> life, or that's a, a very tiny bottle. Yeah. I I don't really know. They're not. There's not a lot in there. For well, seven quid. Well, what he's saying is that he, so the inspiration was 
Tingly Turds was inspired by a love of all things sauce and my need for spice with every single meal. He travels a lot, so having a bottle in my suitcase, you're not supposed to have bottles in your suitcase. Yeah. Uh, whenever I can spice up any, any and every meal seemed like a good idea. He's one of those people that goes, I'll be right on his sauce. No matter what it is that he's been like, like. I can see him putting salt on food before he tastes it. He's that kind of person. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, ye it's apparently years of whittling down the perfect flavours before settling on two absolute belters. I'm full of belters. What's he doesn't talk like that. Has he got um, somebody else to make it for him and then repackaged it as his own? Oh, no, it's not his music. <gasps> Controversial. Well, if, if anybody uh, tries Ed's tingly sauce, <laughs> please let us know. Interesting well, to find out because we're not paying seven quid. No. No for chance. Bottle. Anyway, that's the end of this week's saucy, spicy showbiz news. Oh, well, thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that Ed Sheeran's got something else that he can annoy me with. Oh, awkward. Uh, anyway, stick around, because next, it's Mike in the bus. Welcome back. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready to bewitched, bothered and bewildered, as it's Mike with the bus. <laughs> Does size matter? It's not the size of the boat that counts, it's the motion in the ocean. Okay. Yes. So basically, even if we've got a tiny dinling, as long as you know what to do with it, it doesn't really matter. I was talking about chocolate bars. Same thing. <laughs> Go to really? the same place. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to the same place. Finger a fudge. It's just enough to see if you've been shagged before. Um, <laughs> So, penis length. Okay. I'm actually talking about penis Oh, you're going to talk about penis yeah. Okay. Um, one of my favourite subjects. Mm -hmm. PhD. Average penis length, right, has increased. Has it? Yes. Where can I sign up? <laughs> no, not yours. Oh. Right, just as the just average. Just the same. Just every, but yeah. Just like just, in general. Just in general. Not like miraculously overnight. It's <laughs> like, <go>, what? <laughs> um, no, the average penis length um, 20 years ago was 4.6 inches. Really? Mm -hmm. And now, 6 inches. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, you're almost. That's, <laughs> that's, that's 20%. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's twenty four percent actually. Okay. Yeah, over the past twenty years, it's they've increased. And why is that? What's caused that? They're not one hundred percent sure why. Oh. Right. They need to put a few more in the mouths. <laughs> to tell. It's not me doing the study. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You've made it all up. You? <laughs> it's like, let let me see. I'm just measuring it with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me which tooth you hit. Um, mm. Yeah, but it's not that people have got bigger over time. It's just that as the Older people with smaller penises have died. The averages have gone up. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase that. It's not like, you know... Old cock dies. Old cock new dies. New cock big. New cock is bigger. Okay. So the average increases. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, they're not sure whether it's because of like, environmental factors yeah, or people pulling it more, stretching oh. it. Oh. Yeah. I don't think that works. It doesn't. I've tried. Mm. Yeah. Trying to get that extra inch. You know, is, it up, just, is, it just, is it just? Is it everybody all over the world? Yes, because they're not as a worldwide. Oh, okay, average. not just like right. like a like a like a country specific. No, it's not. It's the worldwide penises. Worldwide are getting penises are getting bigger. Yes. <laughs> Good news. Woo! Um, every all over the world, penises are getting bigger. That's and more nice. That's it's nice, lovely. It? Yes. No, I mean not for you know not not for us. Why? Because you know. Our penises are what our penises are. They're not gonna get any bigger. I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, but future I'd... generations can look forward to a massive schlong. Oh, I'm just saying. Something to tell your children, isn't it? <laughs> what? In my day, penises were only average of six inches. Not this fifteen not you've this got these massive... today. Yeah. Elephant uh, cock. So so if penises are if, <laughs> if penises are getting bigger, uh -huh. are other body parts? Getting bigger or smaller, or like are there, there's like teeny tiny tuppences, or no, uh, not bigger, maybe more slack. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know anything. You just you just fixated on cock as per usual. Of course, usual. I am. You, Have you met me? Because you know there might be there might be an enlarging enlarging of the. Uh, is, I don't know what is. There will be an enlarging of you. An enlarging of the labia or those kind of things. 
Because they do get bigger because you've stretched them out. That's how fisting works. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> what? Is that, did you, you get trained up? Well, well done, humanity. Yes. That's all I can say. Well evolution done. is fact. Well done, evolution. <laughs> exactly. But it is proving evolution because we're getting bigger. Yay. But uh, do, it, there's no yay because we, we don't reap the benefits of that. Do if you bottom. Anyway, moving on. Um, long distance relationships. I teased this at the start of the show. Oh, did you? Yeah. Not remember me saying about something long distance? No. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Hey. Yeah. Um, so a long distance relationship, intimacy can be a problem uh -huh. over long distance. And you can have, you know, phone fun. Phone fun. And, and, and Skypey teams meetings and rubbing your nipples and going, do you feel that? It feels but sexy. you don't, do you? It's just you're having a wank in front of a screen, mm. right? Do not worry, though. Do not be afraid because an inventor has come up with a way of simulating an intimate moment with your loved one over your phone mm. with a basically a phone attachment that lets you kiss them. Mm. So, yeah. So, on your phone, you attach this to the bottom of your phone and you can kiss each other. But they're next, they're yeah, next Yeah, well, they're just other. demonstrating oh, it. Oh, OK. Yeah. But it, it works close as well as far away. You don't okay. have to be a minimum of a mile away. It's, that's just a flashlight, isn't it? That is just a flashlight well, on your phone. Sort of. Um, it does react to touch. And so I've got a video of it in, in action for oh, you. Oh, OK. Want to see that? Yeah. So there it is. Um, you just touch it to your phone. There it is, kissing away. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> see? Ah, oh, they look very happy. Kissing each other. <laughs> You like, what do you, what? The pulsating lips. What? You just get the same effect if you just kiss the screen. No, no, because the lips were pulsating. Oh, weird. Yeah. I don't like it. You don't like it? What, what? 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 Why? Why is it? Why does it happen? Because people are in long-distance relationships and they want to be able to kiss each other over the... Is this... Is, oh, I don't... Look at that. Ugh. So attach it and... So what... Do you have to down? Hee hee hee. It's her reaction that's irritating. <laughs> um, do, do you have to? There's an app. So you put you kiss it yourself. You kiss How yours, you kiss? And, and the other person. What kisses if you kiss that? Like does it do that? Yes. Does it? No, yes. it doesn't. There's not a tongue inside that mouth. There is. No, there isn't. There isn't. There's a tongue inside there. No, there isn't. It's just so a pair of lips. You can put it in your places. No, you don't use it for that. <laughs> That's what people will use it for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but okay, where Ooh, is it? Is it Ooh. from? Is it from Japan? Um, it is from Asia. Mm, yes. Yeah, kind of figures. Is it in? Is <laughs> well, it... from all the Asian people no, using but it. But they do make weird <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Is this from the same people that made the the the, the cock sucking thing from the hospital? If you get shy. <laughs> no. No. It's not That's Because that one's medical. This is relaxing. Oh, well, there's a whole difference. This, is, yeah, difference. Yeah. this yes. isn't for medical purposes. This, this is for, is for you know, joy. Me feel have you, have you ordered yours? Um, no, I haven't. Okay. Because I've got no one to use the other side. Oh, that that's a, sad, isn't it? That's sad. I should have to have two. Remind, two phones like that. And then reminding oh. me that I'm desperately alone and not even a robot oh. will, will kiss me. Oh. But if, like me, you're sat on a shelf waiting for the inevitable clutch of death, you can always interact with us on social media at The Cud TV. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, we are both um, glasses wearers. We are. Have you ever tried contact lenses? No, I don't like the idea of them. Why do you not like the idea? I don't like the idea of sticking something in my eyeball. OK. Um, for me, I, I was always a little bit concerned about leaving them in. Oh, yeah, and then they're drying out. Drying out and then gluing my eyes shut. Or blinking and then going behind the back of your eye because that happens. Oh, no. Ugh. Ugh. Have I ever told you a story about um, someone I know that fell asleep with a pot noodle wearing contacts? I've not had They basically, night out, had a pot noodle wearing contacts, fell asleep. Some of the, the juice ran down their face and glued their eyes shut because it got in contact with the contact lens. That didn't happen. It did. I had to go to a &E to get it washed out. Actually happened. Was it you and no, was it, it Jizz? No, it wasn't. You think I get jizz in my eye like I waste it? Come on, Lee. Um, well, this is a story about a man who fell asleep in his contact, contact lenses. lenses. Is it going to be horrible? Not really. 
Are you going to show a horrible picture of like a manged up eye? <laughs> manged up eye. A manged up eye. No, he just fell asleep and he got a little bit of a, a bacteria in there. It's horrible, isn't well, it? technically a parasite. So here he is. His man that fell asleep with contacts and a flesh-eating parasite ate his eye. He's not an unattractive he's not. He's quite a pretty young man. Mm. Right? And well, like, that before. Well, he's, he's still, still attractive. He's just got, you know, an eye patch. He's got on. a rotted out eyeball. Yeah. I, and you see, I've, I've been sensitive with the picture for you. So he fell asleep with his contacts in and yeah. then a flesh-eating parasite ate his eye. Yeah. So he actually had a parasite there because he didn't take the contact out and wash his eye out. That doesn't happen just overnight. It, did, it happened overnight. There's oh, a picture of his eye. <laughs> Horrible. That's what right, happened to his actual eye. Get it? Oh, it's horrible. Did he, did he have a new eye? No, it, 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 it's just did, um, it's just blind. Did they take that it eye. out? Did they take the eye out? <laughs> did they take the eye out? Oh, it's still there. It's Get still it. There. Oh, it's, it's there, there as well. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of it. It's horrible. It's absolutely vile. It's horrible. Well, you see, I, I don't believe that. I think he probably I did it on purpose. No, I didn't think did it, it for purpose. social media no. clout. Is that I going think to... he. You, I don't think you, your eye gets rotted out of your head by a parasite just because one night of sleeping in your. Um... So he got the parasite in in the. Well, I think got the parasite in in the morning. It stayed in there all day. He just fell asleep with it, and it just kept. So yeah. Gross. Because oh. there was that woman mm. that had like 30 pairs of um, contact lenses in. Stuck in her eye. She just kept putting another one on top of it. Yeah. No, but how stupid is that? Well, that's that's cause she, that's stupidity. This is this is unfortunate. Okay, so is he all right now, though? Just got a horrible, hideous eye. Got a hideous eye. He can't wink at people anymore. Is he blind? In an eye. I don't want I'm not looking at it again. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'd go, do you know what? Take it out. Okay. Take it out and give me a glass eye. Okay. Because... I ain't living with that. <laughs> well, you don't have to see yourself, do you? Yeah, you do when you look in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. Mm. I'm not. I'm not convinced. Not convinced. No, convinced he had a rotty eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, the lesson is: don't, don't be a lazy. Get take, take your contacts out. Contacts out. Yeah. Exactly. Otherwise, you'll wake up with a horrible rotty eye. Yeah, rotty eye. I'm not a fan of that phrase. Rotty eye. Makes sound like you're talking about a Rottweiler. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you very much for that. I shall I shall wash my eyeballs thoroughly when I go home this evening. Stick with us, because coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week we are playing Gobby Game Show. And that's one for our favourite fluid receptacle that is Mike. So off you pop. Why you was that it? funny? It's true. I'm everyone's favourite. Game of the Week. So we know what happens with this game. Mike has got a ball gag in his face and he's going to attempt to hum popular musical songs and I've got to guess what they are. Are you, are you ready, Mike? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's yes? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go for the first one then. Mm-hmm. Is it Hey Ya by um um Hey Ya by um Andre three thousand? Hey Ya by Who sang that song? Oh, Outcast. Yay! Next one, please. Okay. <laughs> is it Love Boat? No. Is it a theme to Love Boat? No. Um, <laughs> um I don't know. Uh, okay. There. No, no. Sounds like. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, I don't hate this game. Mm -hmm. Sounds like no. Take the. Bafanapoli. Thank you. 
Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you by Alanis Morissette. No. I don't know. Thank you, Nick, for a lot of the Oh, I don't know that one. Obviously. Next one. Next one. <laughs> Is it a thing to love about? It's Don't speak, no, just what, just say it by, don't speak by no doubt. Ah, I'm speaking very clearly, everyone knows what I'm saying. That's all. Next one. The love, the love. The love, love. bow. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> do, 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 it's um, it's like a virgin by Madonna. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend. Um, um, no scrubs by TLC. <laughs> it's like dogs howling. Isn't it? <laughs> 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 we will rock you by Queen. Well done. Never gonna give you up by Rick Astley. God, I've been off way too long. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could charge you, I could give you, I could give you a, a freebie I have to charge. Milkshake by Khalees. <laughs> yeah, and whatever that was. Whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Next one. Next one. La 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 Oh. 
romance. It's um, Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. I want you to know. Yeah. I did quite well. Considering I'm, I've usually turned the table over by this point. <laughs> Celine Dion and My Heart Will Go On, oh. which is a lie because it doesn't, it just stops, stops at some point. It's back to life, sorry. That's life. I fall off this way, one high level, but I know. Eh? I thought I was. Are you singing or are you, yeah. are you singing? That's life, I fall off this way, one high level, but I know. But I don't want to offend that who, but I don't want to offend that who. Is it, is it the thong song by Cisco? No. Do you have dumps like a truck? Truck, truck? No. Just regular what, ones. What, what? What's what all the people say? Why is high April? What are they? I don't know this one. Mm -hmm. That's life. Eh? That's life. But I don't know that. By Frank Sinatra. That's oh, why I didn't know that. One. That's what all the people say. <laughs> I didn't know that one. <laughs> something, something. Then last night. Um, do 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 in my bed. <laughs> do do in my bed. That's not the lyric. Um, <laughs> poo poo. Do, do. Wake me up but before you go go by. Wow. <laughs> are we are we not finished yet? I really must have been messed up mentally if I can work out what these songs are. Um, Crazy in Love by Beyonce. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm a sincere. I love that. I'm not here to make friends. What? By Samantha, no, oh. Samuel Smith. Woo! Hey! I hear a Stay with us, because after the break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we prepare for our own tomorrow's world, but today, as it's Mike, in that science that is. That science that is. So today we're going to talk about lift. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some indoor firework. Ooh. Now, to do this, you should have been given a, a, a tea bag. I do have a tea bag. Okay. Um, so, I want, I, want to, I want you to remove your tea bag from its protective sheath. They're, they're a name brand as well. They are. Cheap. Um, Bio Blends. That's fancy. Bio Blend. Isn't it? The taste you know and love with added cultures. Uh, look, 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 look. Tea bag. <laughs> um, so, what I want you to do is I want you to remove the little string. Because we don't need the string. Remove the string. Yeah, remove the string. Soon. I've ripped my bag. Oh, f sake. I've ripped my... I've ripped my bag. The replacement tea bag, which you have been given, carefully remove the string. There you okay, go. Okay, I've done oh. it. Okay. 
And now what I want you to then do is unfold the little flaps. Okay, if I'm done then. Okay. And then carefully, you want to empty the tea, you want to open it up and empty the tea that's inside it onto your plate, out of the way. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, when you open it up, you want to give it a bit of a push so it becomes a tube. Okay. Okay. So you should it's, then, end, it's open at, at both ends? It should be, yes. Okay. Okay, well, they should, both ends should be flat. <laughs> it's all of ends! Okay, yeah. Okay, so now it should re when you stand, it should stand up, should stand to attention. <gasps> there we go. Okay, now watch what I do. What you're going to do is you're going to take your science flame and carefully let the bottom of the tube. You okay? do it first. And what you should see happen is something wonderful. Are you ready? That didn't work. What's it's supposed, supposed to, to look like a cat turd, Mike? It, oh no, it's doing it now! It's doing it now! It's doing it now! Oh my god, it's a flying cat turd! Oh! Oh, that flame's large, isn't it? It needs to be a large flame. It needs to be a large flame. Because yes, you need to get right to the bottom. That's it. Ah! Oh, it's just a cat turd. That's it, that's it. Is it going to do it? You must live! Oh, it's thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, well. Well, mine works. So that, that's it. That's just lift, because what happens is the, the ash is hot. I want to do another one. And it's lighter. Oh, I want to do another one, though. Go on, do another one, then. Because it's got flames and stuff. Okay. I'll do it with this one, because I can... I can. You've already destroyed half. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gone. Do we need these tea leaves for anything else? Nope. Oh! Fine. I can make a cup of loose leaf tea if you really wanted, but... Okay, okay, okay. Gonna do it. Gonna make it fly. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's alive! Oh my god, it's gone into the thing! Is it, is... What, what, what are you panicking for? Is it, will it come down? <laughs> Has it not come down? Will it be there forever? <laughs> is it still up there? <laughs> is it, is it okay to be up there? Is it still up there? Yes! Okay, so what's probably happening there is because it's so light... It's burning it, its way through the floor. Yeah. Above. <laughs> it's, it's going through ancient concrete. Um, because the, the lights in the studio will be producing heat, it'll be being held aloft by the lights, so when the lights go off, it'll fall down. Am I safe? No, never. Is this, is this a risk? Okay, so that's the first one. Something quite light to... Something quite light to, to, to lift, okay? Do you want to do something a little bit more... I'm going to say vigorous. Um, yeah. Good. Um, so, place your plate to one side. And then you should have a, a, a small bowl Yes, I do. And you also should have a plastic bottle. I do indeed. We're going to propel the plastic bottle. Yes. Now, what we want to do is we want to prepare a launching area for the plastic launching bottle. Launching area. Okay. And so your bowl, you need to cut a hole in the middle, okay, which the bottle can easily and loosely rest in. So little hole. Make them just a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to have an access port. Oh. So you're going to take a slice out of your bowl. Oh. A bowl. Out of your bowl. Yes. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now in your little science beaker. Yes. You should have some purple fluid. I do have some purple okay. fluid. Carefully put some of the purple fluid inside the bottle. Okay, you don't want all of it, you just want a little bit. Okay. You emptied the f out of this first, didn't you, didn't you? Yeah. I did, yeah. Just a tiny little piece, tiny little drop. Just a little dribble. Yep, okay. Then pop your purple fluid away. Now what your purple fluid is, is methylated spirit, so it's, oh. it's, it's just alcohol. Okay, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure the inside of your bottle has got a good coating. So you need to shake it up. Okay. 
shake some more. And you know it's all covered because it will stop making a noise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's the main propellant. We now need a, a, an ignition source. And so you have an aerosol can. <gasps> now aerosols use butane gas. Okay. You do not want a lot of this, Lee. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've got I've got some um, hairspray for some reason. Don't know why I've got hairspray. This is starting to sound dodgy. It's dangerous as hell, yeah. Right. So now, literally, watch. You're going to go one squirt. Oh, that's it. And then pop the lid back on. Mm. Okay. That's all you need, just the one squirt. That's it. Lid on. And then give it another quick shake. Okay, then when you're ready, what we're going to do is we're going to take the lid off. I'm frightened, Mike, I'm frightened. Good, you should be. What we're going to do is we're going to take the lid off, Yeah. put the bottle upside down, yeah. and then with your flame, put the flame at the bottom and the bottle should take off. Oh God, this is very traumatic. Now, for some reason, the gallery are panicking. I've heard the words, no, 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 and for f sake for the fire brigade. Not sure why. But sh shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Mike. Okay, so going to be quick. See how that pans out for you, with the flame and the naked <laughs> alcohol and stuff. Okay, so yeah, and then upside down, and then. Nothing. Oh no, it didn't take off. No. Um, oh no, my plate's on fire. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that my bottle melted to the the bowl. Oh. Um, I think you might need to put that out, Mike. We, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that shortly. Let's see how you go with you. No, I, I think you should deal with the flames now. Yeah, just do, let's just do you first. The, okay, go, yeah, right. The flames are getting higher and I'm near... The, oh, God. <laughs> then what? Then light the bottom of what? Oh, where do, where, where do I put the flame? Um, in the gap. And you... Ah! It f***ing burns, man! <laughs> what? What? what you burnt me thumb! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't want to this year, but I have to because it burnt me. <laughs> ow! 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 Stupid games and stupid science. Ow! I, it worked in rehearsal. Actually, it didn't work in rehearsal, but that's science, that is. That science, that is. That really hurt. You wanted fire. It hurt. I didn't say it tickled. I said you wanted fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put blame claim in for you. Do it. Well, yeah. Do you know how much I'm worth? But this is my good hand as well. It's my modelling hand. What can I do? Really? What can I do now? Unsightly. It's not like you've but lost a thumb. Can't do proper modelling. You never could. Well, um, that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube podcast services, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back next week if I've not got third degree burns. See you later. Bye. 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 I feel like something to whinge about.